remaining citizens of the world, we are anonymous. As many Americans' eyes turn to the recent decision by the Ferguson grand jury to not indict Officer Darren Wilson, we feel that it is important to remind you of the many other important cases where rogue police officers have gunned down innocent citizens. We have already launched operations such as Op John Crawford, Op Darian Hunt, Op KKK and more recently Op Dame Bryce, both Ohio residents who were shot and killed by overzealous, so-called law enforcement who believed that holding BB guns was enough to sentence them to death. These killer cops offered citizens no more than two seconds to put down their toy weapons, as many focus on the disproportionate number of African Americans, victimized by racist road police officers. It is also worth mentioning those of other backgrounds such as Salt Lake City resident Dylan Taylor, who was shot and killed by police for not responding to orders quickly enough. This was because he had ear headphones in his ears. Other well-known cases such as the killing of a homeless man, Kelly Thomas in 2011, remind us that while certain so-called minority groups might often find themselves disproportionately victimized by racist police officers, this is a broader phenomenon, one that involves the increasing militarization of police departments and the desensitization of officers to the lives and rights of citizens. We are here to tell corrupt and homicidal members of law enforcement that they are no longer safe to commit crimes with impunity. If your own respective departments and federal agencies will not punish you, we will. You will no longer be able to lurk in the shadows. The light of justice will shine upon you and your personal information. You will not be able to live out comfortable, easy lives where you can forget about your crimes. Every day that you walk the streets, you will be recognized, and your whereabouts will be known by anonymous activists and protesters who continue to form alliances with us. Anonymous hackers will join in a massive waves of cyber attacks. In conjunction with allies and anonymous activists who take action on the streets, we will demonstrate outside of your homes and your places of work. Your personal, financial and other most guarded secrets will be exposed. You will not be allowed to live the comfortable lives you so desire when there are innocent lives you have taken. We call upon any honest and moral members of local and federal law enforcement to continue to assist us in these efforts, you know, as well as we do, that these rogue officers are a disgrace to your profession. Realize that even in your departments and federal agencies, there are more allies with our operations than you could imagine. Departments and federal agencies that will not punish the guilty and cover up their crimes will become a target as well. Others who join in efforts to defend murder by agents of the state, such as members of the KKK, will continue to be targets, regardless of the recent efforts to backpedal. If you do not wish to become targets, then stand on the side of justice and be on the right side of history. For the purposes of addressing some of the most recent crimes first, we will target officers who have carried out their crimes in 2014. This should not give officers who committed earlier crimes any reason to imagine that they will be spared. We will get to each of you as this is a part of a long operation which will be carried out in waves. Some of the killer cops who we are putting on notice from the beginning of this operation are as follows. First and foremost, Officer Darren Wilson we are far from done with you, and the prosecuting attorney Robert P. McCulloch, who went to great lengths to justify your brutality. All who are responsible for the unjust verdict, you're under our radar now, as you are so prominent on our list. Perhaps the least needs to be said about what is coming for you. Realize that you'll never live in peace. We commend the officers within the Ferguson and St. Louis Police Departments, who have been providing us with information. Your allegiance to justice shows us that there are still some good within your ranks, who will not go to pressure from a corrupt system. Officer Sean Williams, of the Beaver Creek, Ohio Police Department, you gunned down John Crawford in cold blood. You shot him for holding a toy gun. In a state where holding real guns in Walmart is perfectly legal, you had been advised of this before you pulled the trigger. Now you are on notice from us. The Green County prosecutor may have chosen not to indict you, but Anonymous has indicted you. We commend Officer Marco who accompanied you for not pulling the trigger when John Crawford began running towards him. He saw clearly that at this point, your victim had placed the arrival on the ground. You chose then to shoot him anyway. We have no conflict with you Officer Marco. 
We further comment Chief Evers for retiring from the corrupt Beaver Creek Police Department. Officers who leave corrupt departments or stand up to those corrupt officers within them have nothing to fear from us. Officer Braun Cruz, your shooting of Dylan Taylor was ruled justifiable by Salt Lake County District Attorney Singhill on Tuesday. But the anonymous verdict is a very different one. You may think that the troubles you have been facing are over, but we assure you that they are just beginning. Rookie Officer Timothy Lohman, last weekend you shot 12-year-old Tim Bryce without giving him a chance to explain that he only had a BB gun. Officer Garmbach was with you, and because of his experience on the job, he did not pull the trigger. This further highlights your overreaction. The Cleveland Police Department, however, has found themselves a target because instead of acknowledging your crime, they covered it up, lying, saying the tamed pointed the gun at you. You blame the victim of Officer Lomanes' crimes, rather than protecting him. Since you have refused to come to the defense of the innocent, we have taken up his cause. It has come to our attention that the FBI is investigating our response to your corruption. Perhaps those in the FBI who still believe in justice should focus their efforts at investigating your corrupt department. This same department recently took the life of Tanisha Anderson, slamming her in the concrete, instead of bringing the brutal officers to justice. The Cleveland Police Department has been engaged in a cover-up that consistently blames and arm victims of police brutality for their own deaths. Boone County, Kentucky Deputy Tyler Brockman. Your shooting of Samantha Ramsey has put your in our sights. Utah police involved in the cover-up of the shooting death of Darian Hunt. You have not been forgotten. New autopsy results have revealed that you shot his cosplayer, dressed as a samurai in the back. The state has refused to bring you to justice, so Anonymous has decided to hold you accountable. Other police and government agents involved in the killing or cover-up of any innocent. An armed citizens will be subject to operation on verdict. You will see the results of this operation online and right in front of your houses and places of employment. This is only the beginning. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.